Hello everyone and welcome to your second royal reading of today, a Friday here at Mad World Tarot. The madness, the Microsoft madness ongoing as I'm doing these readings today. Other madness unfortunately ongoing as well and the fallout of the um, attempted assassination of Donald Trump in the United States continues. And one of the stranger aspects of it is that it has emerged that uh, the shooter was, that's Thomas Crooks of course, was fixated with the Princess of Wales. And we heard a few days ago that he had um, searched a member of the British royal family. We didn't know who that was. So of course people were speculating that maybe it was Harry or Meghan. That would have made more sense. But it now transpires, and it's official, uh, that he was actually googling, well we assume searching, the Princess of Wales and had in fact downloaded photos of her onto his phone uh, and I think his computer. Rather disturbing to put it mildly for her of course who's going through it uh, as it is and there has been all this hideous speculation about her and her private life and Prince William and what's really going on and then to find that this person uh, was also obsessed with her. Um, it just uh, was was just really sickening. I felt sickened by it. I can't begin to imagine how she feels. We're going to have a look with a Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. I want to know why he was fixated. That's the word that they have used. Um, I think FBI. Um, his feelings towards her. What were they and his intentions towards her? I want to know how she feels about it and how Prince William feels about this news. I'm sure they have been informed and I'm sure that uh, there have been consequences for them. I want to know also how the feeling is in Montecito, how Meghan feels about this and how Harry feels about it. And as an outcome, I want to know whether there will be any implications for Harry and Meghan and their security. We know that Harry is suing and suing and suing in the UK about his IPP status, trying to get his royal uh, protection back full time on the taxpayer's dime. Uh, but is this going to help or hinder his cause? Because, of course, this was all in America an American searching a non American. She was the only one who was non American. He was looking at Biden and Trump and the head of the FBI and the Attorney General. Um, so, why her? And is this going to make their case for them, Harry and Meghan? Or is it going to undermine their case? Let's see uh, what we can find out as the rain tumbles down here. Floods, uh, it's rained and rained and rained and rained. Uh, not flooding here right now, but um, we're in that energy. Uh, at the moment, it seems like you're either getting a volcano or uh, floods or terrible fires or planes hitting strange turbulence or now every computer in the world that runs on Microsoft collapsing. What is going on? What is going on? Okay. Um, I think we've got it. So we're going to see what the tarot wants to tell us. And let's of course remind you, very serious topic, uh, but it's just tarot here. And it is, of course, for fun and entertainment. And it is all just my opinion. Speculation. I just read energy. And there is a disclaimer in the box below. So we got the business out of the way. And let's see what the cards have to say about this very unfortunate uh, news. Page of Pentacles. Uh, that's the student. That's somebody studying something. And he was a very young uh, fellow. That's his energy that's coming through as the underlying energy here student card so um, it's not really um, giving me any any uh, serious vibes so we'll move on to the situation the actual situation we're dealing with yeah that's uh, that's more like it that's the moon that's the stuff in the shadows that's the weird stuff um that's the disturbing stuff that's the uh possible um disordered personality things like that obsession as well it can be um, my eyes looking over here if i bring the other cards in you can see that the next underlying one is the devil 
and the devil is of course very obsessive it's capricorn card she's a capricorn uh but it's that obsessive energy very obsessed uh, I don't really want to see it on the tarot table right now. I'm going to dig around in this on my other channel. I was already intending to when I decided to do this reading. Now here on this channel, uh, this story just popped up um, in the news with a sort of real confirmation of what he was up to. Um, so that's that's why this is happening here now. But it's also going to happen a little bit differently on the other channel but there it is that's the cray cray energy that's the the disturbed energy um that of course has led to all of this drama and um unpleasantness and tragedy even as well the things crawling out of the subconscious being projected onto other people it's projection it's not being the master of your own thoughts feelings um, impulses and of course so you act out that is what the moon is about among many other things that the moon is about we're going to look at him over here his feelings for the princess of wales emotional uh, energy that i'm looking for i've got the lovers in reverse how very interesting might have had a bit of a crush on her with that card with the lovers in reverse um interesting very interesting and of course as i say that there's the devil lurking around here in the background in this reading which is obsession um and of course at the time that he was probably doing these searches uh, all this nasty stuff was spreading about the marriage um uh, scandalous rumors outrageous rumors about what prince william might have done what was going on in the marriage terrible terrible things which i will not repeat here it's there in there so there's double energy in here in this double card of the lovers gemini energy of course it's about the state of the wales's marriage it's there the rumors the speculation the scandalous stories but also i think he was obsessed with her uh, uh, emotionally I think infatuated obsessed um, it's in reverse which is extra extra um, can mean um, might have had some kind of weird love hate thing going on with her um, at that age where of course um, emotions can go out of control and those kinds of energies can be projected we've got this projection energy here onto a celebrity it's quite uh, I will use the word normal in inverted commas because, you know, it is sort of normal human development to have these kinds of feelings, but not extreme feelings towards our famous, you know, celebrities, things like that. So I think that's what's going on. His intentions towards her. <laughs> We've got the hermit in reverse. Um... I, I kind of laughed because it's Harry and Harry showing up and I have to think to myself, no, it's not Harry in this energy. It's not Harry. Um, it's lonely energy. So when I elbow Harry out of my mind to give this energy space, um, loneliness. The hermit is very alone. Um, lost when it's in reverse upright good on good on your own if you're in hermit energy you're good on your own you're um, busy with self-examination and figuring out your way in life and um, it, it, it's all healthy uh, in reverse wanting not to be on your own not coping with being on your own not finding your true path uh, being misguided uh, a bit deluded following wrong advice all those kinds of things i'm getting there's a big story here these are major arcana cards and of course it was a massive story um to to uh, f uh, end the way it did and i'm not saying that his obsession with her forced him to act in this way it caused him to act in this way but we got three major arcana here and none of them are good obviously the moon the lover's card in reverse and the hermit in reverse so heavy 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 energy and i'm sure that she has been advised that this was the kind of a thing that was going on that's my speculation of course let's remember it's just me and my opinion let's move on to the princess of wales and how she feels about this three of cups 
it's okay. Whatever she's been told, which I suspect is along the lines of what I'm getting here, it's okay. It's just a friendship card, the Three of Cups. It's, I want to hang out with you, uh, which is not great. I mean, you don't want a crazy person sort of arriving on your doorstep and saying, hey, I want to hang out with you. I know that from personal experience, just saying. So, um, but it's like, okay, we can deal with this. We can manage. It's not terrible energy. Um, there's a little bit here almost of, I don't want to say she doesn't know because I'm sure she does know, but it's a little bit of, I'm on holiday now, uh, and they very much are. It's the kids are off school, they are away, wherever they go on holiday. We need to know absolutely zero. We don't need to know. I don't want to even think about this. I'm having a good time. Uh, go away, William. William's two of cups. William is very focused on this relationship with her. They're not bothered. Very interestingly, they are not bothered. He's very focused on his partner, on his marriage, on his um, uh, supporting his wife through what she's going through, on um, just making sure that their relationship is absolutely rock solid. All his attention is here. I keep seeing that, so it's not a surprise to me. They are not bothered. So whatever they have found out or whatever they, their protection people have been told, it's not a source of horror and dismay. I'm horrified. They don't seem to be in the energy that's coming through. So let's look at Montecito and how Montecito has taken the news. Because it was a moment when people were thinking, oh, uh, it's Harry and Meghan. Uh, that would have made more sense, really, because they're so high profile or they're trying to be so high profile in the United States media. But of course, she was the one who was so high profile in the United States media in the past few months through no fault of her own, really. Megan, how does Megan feel about this news? Seven of Pentacles, which is such an interesting card because it is in reverse. This is your investment. When it's upright, you've invested wisely. It's your harvest time now. Uh, what you have invested in is now bearing fruit and you can look at it quite satisfied and say, oh, I've done well. I've accomplished a lot. I've put time and effort in and now I can sit back and enjoy it. In the reverse, waste of time and energy. How interesting is that? Because a lot of people speculate that those rumors, those scandalous rumors came from somewhere on the west coast of America. Shall we just say? And of course, I'm just repeating rumor. And uh, we're going to say allegedly. Time and effort wasted when it's in reverse. Damn. That didn't work out the way I thought it was going to work out. It's the kind of energy that you would get when you got a seven of pentacles in reverse. If you were doing your own reading and you got that energy. And uh, so that is very interesting. How about Harry? How does he feel knowing that this young guy was fixated on the Princess of Wales and not him? The Page of Wands. It's... Uh, very unimpressive energy. It's junior energy, the page of wands. It's it's almost like, oh, that's an interesting bit of gossip. Um, it's not gossip. A page of wands isn't gossip, but it's, huh, okay. It's like he's read it in the press. And, uh, oh, that's interesting. I can get a little bit excited about that. Um, maybe he would like to... Um, write her a note if he's capable of things like that don't know or send an email or send a whatsapp um, I hope he doesn't have Microsoft um, and wants to communicate with her it's almost like ah okay well now I know this now I can talk to her and um, it's, it's, it's something we can connect about we can communicate about they tried the jam apparently, according to Neil Sean. Well, not with William and Catherine, but with the king and queen. we look at that one day. Silly story. Now I can talk to her. Maybe 
Maybe. This is good news for me. Maybe I can use this in my court case. Maybe she'd come be a witness or write a witness statement for me or something like that would add uh, some relevance. So this is good news. Literally, the page of ones is the card of good news. He thinks this is good news. I talk about uh, reacting the wrong way to things. I've just done the reading, um, if you haven't watched it, about the Invictus Games, the CEO quitting. Harry's pleased, according to the energy that came through for me in that reading. He's pleased about this. I think because he views it selfishly and thinks that he can uh, take advantage of this. So let's see if this news is going to have any um, benefit to him in his court case or is it uh, what's going to happen. It doesn't look like it. We've got the Empress in reverse. It's not going to prosper. The Empress is prospering energy. It's about growth and creativity and expansion and abundance and all those beautiful things. It's a lovely female energy. It's the Princess of Wales. As the Empress, she will one day be Queen, we hope, sincerely, or going according to plan. It's in reverse. She is not going to play ball with this. If he hopes, and I did not expect this, didn't I? I don't have a... Um, a cunning mind and in fact I'm very gullible when it comes to strategies like this um, because my mind just doesn't work like this um, so this is news to me that he thinks that this is a great idea and let's get on board and you know we can together we can get the home office on sides and get get me my security back she's having none of it empress in reverse absolutely not don't play that game with me this is massive status. The Empress is the Queen of Queens. And uh, he's the little page over here who's writing, busy writing her an email or, or trying to phone her or something like that saying, you know, now see what I'm going through and how I have suffered and let's join forces. Um, interesting, shall we just say. But no, it's not going to prosper. And there might be another high status woman. Of course, if Ed Cooper is, uh, I think she's the Home Secretary. Have I got that right? Who says, hell no. <laughs> Don't even dream of bringing this news to me and thinking that it's going to change my mind. Empress in reverse. No. But that's, um, that's when the divine feminine turns into something quite nasty. Uh, shall we just say when the Empress is in reverse don't waste my time with that don't want to hint I don't want to know so there it is that's what's going on strange energy in this one we can clearly see what's well and I can see from these cards what's going on with uh, Thomas and uh, Wales don't want to know about it off focusing on themselves Megan damn Harry, hmm, let's see what I can do to benefit from this news. Outcome, mercifully, no. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow.